So let's summarize the achievement so far. We've been able to express if A, if we raise A with delta X, then this involves a change in function value, and the function, the change in function value, the exact change is delta Y, and we may express delta Y as the F prime A times delta X plus epsilon delta X times delta X. Yeah, so in we get the change along the tangent line, which is a change in function value estimated along the tangent line. Yeah. So we take a step delta x and we go up, well at least in this picture, we go up with delta x times f prime a. And the remainder between the absolute change in function value, so the exact change in function value, and this linear approximation is given by epsilon delta x times delta x. So we have two components in the exact change. One is due to the tangent line moving along the tangent line, and the other one is the error we make by using this as an estimate. So the error or the difference between the exact change and the estimated change. Well, the reason why this is important is that we will uh, use these approximations in order to prove the chain rule for differentiation. Notice that when we divide delta y by delta x on the left hand side, and we divide by delta x on the right hand side, then we see that delta y divided by delta x equals the derivative in a, derivative of f in a, plus this function epsilon in delta x. Now consider this term delta y divided by delta x. This is just the slope of the purple line segment which is the line through the points a f a and a plus delta x f a plus delta x yeah so this is the slope of a line intersecting two points on the graph of f the slope measures the change in y variable against the change in x variable. Well, this points at the fact that this relative change is for small values of delta x almost equal to the derivative of f in a. So delta y divided by delta x can be used as an approximation for the derivative of f in a for delta x being small.